Hi, my name is Jimmy, Product Specialist with Expo. This video is about a comparison between the OTDR and the Intelligent Optical Link Mapper, the IOLM, to demonstrate how easy and efficient it is to characterize an entire FTTH network using the IOLM. Today's test is about an FTTH PON network, but you must know that the IOLM performs just as well on any access point-to-point -point networks. So here we have a simulation box that represents a double stage 1x8 splitter, which is a typical MDU environment that encloses closely spaced events such as splices, splitters, all this in a short distance. We'll begin this test with the OTDR, and I'm using the best PON OTDR on the market, the FTB730. The OTDR is a proven technology, however it requires a certain level of skills and experience to operate it properly. So I will start right away with a short pulse width to characterize the drop cable in order to see the, the, all the splices up to the splitter. So I will change the settings and use a 5 nanosecond pulse width. When the test is complete, now I must analyze the trace, make sure that the events up to the splitter are within tolerances. However, I'm not able to measure the loss of the splitter in this case, so I will need to increase the pulse width to 50 nanoseconds to take an accurate measurement. So now I change the OTDR to 50 nanosecond, and I launch a new acquisition. Okay, so I got the second trace. Now I'm able to measure the loss of the first splitter. However, we can see the loss of the second splitter will not be accurate as the pulse width does not have sufficient dynamic range. Now in this case, I will have to use a third acquisition with a larger pulse width that provides more dynamic range to reach the end of the fiber. However, it decreases the resolution, therefore increasing the, the pond dead zone. So, let's use a 500 nanosecond pulse width, save the trace, and start a new acquisition. So altogether, this process may take between 6-10 minutes, depending on the link complexity or the technician's skills. Now let's take a look at the revolutionary application, the IOLM. So I will close the OTDR and launch the IOLM. The IOLM is a software application that runs on the same hardware as the FTB730. Using the IOLM, there is no need to set any complex parameters or analyze any OTDR trace. All I have to do is launch the application and press the start button. Once the test is complete, I have a full characterization on all the connectors, splices and splitters, all the elements of the network. I get accurate end-to-end -end loss, a global pass-fail status, as well as an individual status for each element of the network. If an event is failed, the IOLM also prompts me diagnosis in order to help me understand the issue and fix the problem before I leave the site. With the IOLM, you get a unit that is up to six times faster, that provides clear pass-fail status, one report into a single file, that avoids repeat truck roll, and finally, it makes an expert out of any technician. So improve your next FTTH deployment by using Expo's IOLM. Thank you for watching.